relief items distributed at several places across the two hill districts. Grocery shops and fish market opens in Bipu in limited numbers. Husband appeals Karbenglong Autonomous Council for immediate assistance for wife treatment. Hello and welcome to Karbenglong Live. I'm Jilly Hansepi with the latest news of the day and now the news in details. In a blow to the people of the state who have been expecting early relaxation of lockdown, one new case of coronavirus infection has been reported in Assam today. Here is a report. The new case of COVID-19 positive patient was informed by Assam Health Minister Dr. Himanta Biswa Sarma through his Twitter account at 11.20 a.m. this morning. According to the Health Minister, the person who has been tested positive of the virus had history of being in touch with another patient who was part of the Atgao Masjid congregation in Guwahati recently. Meanwhile, according to the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare Government of India, the number of COVID positive stands at 16,454 with 4,257 discharge while the total number of deaths is 681 at the time of compiling this report here this evening. So far, 26,39,243 persons have been tested positive worldwide, out of which 7,15,734 have recovered and 1,83,820 persons have lost their life to this virus. News X report, Carbing Long Life. Moving on to the next news coming in, individuals and groups including government employees continued their effort in mitigating the problems of the people who had been affected by the second lockdown, which is about to complete one month. Here is a report from our correspondent. Malin English High School owner Jesse Lekhepi, an accounts officer of PWD Bokolo Division, Borsing Rampar, who is also a local resident of Dalamara, provided food items to families of several villages of the area here on Thursday. Food items were provided to 100 families whose livelihoods depends on daily wages. On a different location, Donkamokam Health Center ambulance driver Bronson Inki also extended his assistance to the affected people of his locality, especially to the senior citizens. Inki provided food items like rice, dal, potato, and soaps to 15 families of Hambren Habe Kangtang village here today. On the other hand, Hambren government higher secondary school employee Hemari Teron also extended his assistance today by providing 4 kg of rice, 1 kg of potatoes, onions, mustard oil, salt, and soaps to the 10 families to help them cope with the impact of the nationwide lockdown here today. Meanwhile, face masks were also distributed to the public at the Lai Gate and the Lai Bazaar today by the Karbi Students Association Bokajan Regional Committee led by its secretary Nobin Rongpi with the support of KAAC PWD Board Chairman Chris Rongpar while distributing the masks to the bank customers, shopkeepers and vegetable vendors the KSA secretary along with his team members also asked them to take precautions and maintain all preventive measures beginning by wearing facial masks and maintaining social distances at all time. Arjisan Rongpar Bon Muli Tisopi, Daniel Inki and Vijay Rangpi reporting from Karbi and Long Life. Moving ahead with the news, at the time when the whole world is fighting the fear of pandemic COVID-19, a woman who had been bedridden for the past four years due to an illness has appealed the Karbianlong Autonomous Council for assistance for her treatment. A report from Bersinki. Rina Ngtipi, wife of Sarte Kramsa of Hailangso Crow Village under Denghar area of Amri MSA constituency, West Karbianlong, had been suffering from a very serious illness for the last four years. Due to this, the woman is not able to move her limbs, while her condition is also worsening day by day. The husband said that though he had done everything possible for his wife's treatment, but was not able to take her to the hospital due to lack of money. Hearing about her illness, members of Amri Youth Movement along with Zolborin Senar, Goldip Timung, Edmund Timung, Saipen Omjang, Bimol Singh Hanse, journalist P. Ratane and David Teron reached out to Rina and brought her to the nearest public health center with the help of an ambulance. 
She is now admitted in the hospital and the Amri Youth Movement have taken the responsibility to supply them with their meals. However, the ailing woman is likely to be referred to another hospital very soon. Meanwhile, the husband has requested the KAACCM Tuliram Ronghang and local MAC D. Uping Maslai for their immediate assistance as he does not have any money left for his wife's medical treatment. P. Ratani reporting from Bersinki for Carbiano Life. Yet another news coming in, the Putan today witnessed few people at the market for purchase of vegetables and other food items after the district administration announced a limited relaxation after a month under lockdown. A report. Although all other shops and stores remain shut, vegetables vendors and fish sellers open their shops today under the strict guideline of the district administration. People who came out to the market were seen with facial masks while purchasing items of their need. Few vehicles were seen on the road as vehicles on special duty were only allowed to ply. Limited grocery shops, fish and vegetable sellers were open today at Ronkelan, Birla Market and Purby Market, among others. Meanwhile, Vishal Mega Mart and Food Mart were also open for sale of day-to-day -day essential items to the public. News Desk, Carbian Long Life. And that's all we have with us for now. Thank you for watching Carbian Long Life.